Hello people. As you can see, we're down at Wallerfield with the Wolfpack crew. And um, I've got the wolf. Wolf here? Yeah. Okay. How you do? Good day. I see you've been training these guys here, um, telling them a lot of stuff about breaking. Um, yes. And I, from just listening, I got to realise that some of them don't tend to use their rear brake and you were trying to put them correct there. Also, um, I have to say a bike compared to a car is a totally different vehicle. And some people, they come just with the experience what they make in the car. They had first a car and the car had only one brake. But the bike have two, the front brake and the back brake. And they hear everybody say the front brake is the more important one. So they use only the front brake. They don't use the back brake. And I, with my understand, I didn't know that. And sometimes I figure out, I say, why? You have your brake lever so high up or so low down. No, I don't use it. That is the answer. I say, what? You don't use your back brake. Now I know why you brake so early in front of a corner. So, and I ask everybody and I think 40% tell me I don't use the back brake. And I say, so we want to learn that. And I set up a little training there outside where we practicing only the back brake that they get a feeling for the back brake because they say i have no feeling for the back brake so but you can learn it and for this reason that they learn it i set up this practicing with the back brake only because i let them go through the pillars and say so you break only the back brake not the front brake that yeah. they recognize what the back brake can do and what not that they have a proper feeling for that yeah i understand what you're saying because i knew a few people with push bikes in trinidad and 90 percent of the people i know with push bikes have no brakes at all so if i don't know whether it's a trinidad or anything so you seem to be a very tall gentleman do you have to get like any special adjustments to your bike um a little bit yes so, so some things and i need to adjust in my riding compared to like a guy of average height so i may have to do a lot of some things differently right. to really get the same result right yeah look where you're going i see you just walk away there come here come here um yeah i see you've been racing all over the caribbean now there's only been um, bobby dust thus far we should be in guyana for november on the 14th and 15th right yeah caribbean motor racing championships so how are you doing how many points you got um, 18 right now. Right, right now, myself and uh, two other riders from Trinidad are tied with 18 points. So hopefully we all go to Guyana and make more points for the championship. But right now, Trinidad is in the lead for championship. Cool. So, Wolf, tell us about your school. How often is your school... Uh, can anyone come? How often is it? And it's always here? Um, also in the moment, it's uh, like that, that we just start with the school. We build it up and uh, we can make the school only so much then we get the truck in our use. Right. So, and uh, there is for this year is plenty uh, termination uh, already served by other people that make a reservation for, their, for them. And uh, for us will be in this year maybe a three or four times more where we can get the truck. Because we can get the truck only on the weekend, this makes sense for us. Most people have no time during the week. During the week the truck is free but we have no time for that. All of us are um, in other jobs. So um, to get the truck on a weekend is not so easy for us in the moment because we make for 2016, now we start to make the reservations and we want to get the truck so often as possible because I think uh, we have a potential uh, amount of people who want to come and uh, use the school and we need maybe more and more time to do so. Okay, so um, just to inform the people, we're bringing out a magazine shortly, TNT Entertainment Nitro, and the Wolfpack crew is going to have a column in there. And I understand one of your first articles is about safety, safety on the bike, yes? Right, right, absolutely. Uh, the safety stays always in front, no matter we train them for the truck or we train them for the road. In the moment, we have uh, more riders here that are interested to race because I cannot mix a class with people who want to race and with people who want to be safety on the road. There's a different story what I have to teach. So, but we have also absolutely beginners here in, also two of us are more or less beginners. They come on the bike, they come on the truck, for them is 
completely new. They feel, first of all, a little bit afraid. So we have to bring them in to the use of a truck. What is important by the beginning that they can safety learn the truck and safety to learn the bike and themselves. That is important. So, can you tell me how long have you been coming to the school and what really have you picked up? What, what, what is it? the bonus points you've pick, really picked up from this school? Well, I've been here from inception. From the first day we had the opportunity to be on the truck, I was, I've been here, all right? And I've, I started off relatively um, using my knowledge for what I had on the street and applying to the truck, but with the training that I received from Wolf and with the overall riding on the truck, right, and the constant dedication, I improved a lot from since when I first started. It's, so uh -huh. It's been it's been really it's been really informative and it could only get better um, in the future. So you'd recommend any biker really experience or not to come here? Yes, I would. Experience zero experience from the most experienced rider. I would recommend the, recommend them to come here because you only you think you have your experience on the road because the road riding and track riding is two totally different things and a lot of people who came to the track for the first time, they realized that, that it's two totally different styles of riding. Totally different. All right, well, thank you very much. Have you got any sponsors, Wolf, for this? Uh, not that yet. Right. We are looking out for sponsors. Of course, we need to buy a lot of equipment to get everything safety done. We have to rent the tents here that we here in Shelter. Uh, <laughs> we will get that in time because the uh, um, Wolf's Pack School is launched only two weeks ago. Oh, so, and this is right. everything is brand new. Right. We have uh, today is the truck school, but we was calling that that is the first run, the test run for the truck school. And it's also for me that I see how the uh, riders react and uh, what we need in future, what we can do better, and so on. So, if a sponsor w wants to get hold of you, how do you do that? How we do that? We will, yeah. yeah we will uh, write to certain companies uh -huh. where we think they are interested to go in with us together and sponsor right. some things, and uh, that is how we do it. Okay. Yeah. Well, delighted you could take time to be on KVTV today, and wishing you all the best for the school, and looking forward to your article in TT Entertainment Nitro. Okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs>